For more Cougar baseball, let's We've rejoin the final Mark out. Bell. Time now for the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Let's begin our post game coverage with Big O Tires on the Rubber Report, brought to you by Big O Tires, the team you trust. We'll start with the visitors from Baylor. Baylor uses five pitchers, McKinney, Rue, Sepulveda, Petrowski, and Andrade to go nine innings, give up 18 hits, 17 runs, all of them earned. Normal, uh, normally, you give up, uh, rather, let's uh, back that up. They give up 17 runs on 18 hits. Of the 17 runs, all were earned. Normally, you give up 17 runs, 18 hits, you're on the losing end, but not the case today. Uh, Baylor pitchers walking 13 Beg your pardon, walking six, striking out 13 as they throw 193 pitches on the day. So for Baylor pitchers, that is the uh, tail. And BYU, they throw six pitchers. Kuhn, Mabius, Foss, Daly, Sterner, and Olsen. 21 hits, 18 runs, but only half of them earned. That's the tough one today is all of BYU's runs were earned and only half of Baylor's runs were earned on this day. 11 strikeouts, four walks for BYU pitching. One hit batsman, 174 pitches thrown. As Baylor wins it in a wild one, 18 to 17 is your final score. The Cougars trailing at 18 to five at one point. Scored the final 12 runs of the game, but could not complete the comeback as they go down one, two, three in the ninth to fall by one. Baylor 18, BYU 17. The final Bears go to 16 and 18 on the year. BYU falls to 14 and 18. Baylor in Big 12 play goes to eight and seven. BYU falls to six and 12. A, a crucial home series loss and home sweep loss for BYU. The Cougs have lost back-to-back Big 12 home series in sweeps by Kansas and Baylor. And the Cougs have also lost seven consecutive home games. That does not happen very frequently, but seven in a row lost here at Miller Park. BYU will try to end that streak Monday in a non-league game against Utah Tech. Baylor 18, BYU 17 is our final. We'll check more stats after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. R.J. Ruway the win and Hayden Kuhn the loss in this one. Baylor over BYU in a crazy one. 18-17 is your final score. This game was uh, three, almost uh, three and a half hours old in length. Let's get to some post-game stats brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. BYU Baseball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen, helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. Final line score shows Baylor scoring 18 runs on 21 hits. Those 18 runs and 21 hits are season highs for the Bears and season highs in runs and hits allowed by BYU. Baylor committing one error, leaving nine on base. BYU 17 runs on 18 hits, two errors, and nine left on base. The 17 runs and the 18 hits are... Well, one is the season high. The 18 hits ties the season high at UC Davis, the 20 runs at UC Davis, uh, three more than BYU scored today. So second most runs and tied for most hits in the game for BYU as this was that kind of day here at Miller Park. So 18-17 is your final. Let's uh, run through the BYU box score briefly. Uh, A lot of big numbers today. BYU's Luke Anderson, two for five with two runs. He had an extra base hit, a double. Keone Painter... Did not have an official at bat as he uh, walked in the first inning and jammed his hand on a pickoff attempt and left the game, would not return. We'll get through the rest of the box score after we talk with uh, head coach Trent Pratt, who's dropped up to the uh, broadcast booth and popped on the headset. Coach Pratt, man, uh, no quitting your guys today, and that's, uh, that's a game that comes up, you know, one out or one hit short. Um, uh, on the positive side, you applaud the effort, don't you? Yeah, we played hard. Uh, this team's done that all the time. I, I can't fault them for that, and... But well, we're down 13 runs, and we kept playing. And for a while, I thought, man, this probably game is going to be a 10-run rule in the seventh, and we're going to go home early. But, man, credit to them. They kept playing hard. Guys came in, and and they just kept going. So, like, that's a credit to them. But we we got to be the little things. It's it's one play. We make one play. And, you know, a team that's played really good defense, and, you know, that kind of let us down today a little bit. Right now in the box score, it shows that of their 18 runs, nine are officially earned right now is all today. That's, I think all I think all those nine runs that one inning were all unearned. So um, it's just a couple plays. Yeah. And, you know, it stinks, but that, that, that's, those are just the fact. That's how it is today. And, and we've got to find a way to group and, and come back and play with that same confidence and calmness that we played with, you know, the last four innings. Because um, they're capable of doing that. And that's kind of what we talked about in the locker room. It's like we're capable of playing like that more often than not. 
whether we're up 12 or down 12 or up four, the score shouldn't dictate how our approach and how we play. And that's one thing that we keep talking about, and hopefully we can learn from this and carry into the next week a little bit. Is that what most encourages you from today heading into the week? Is what you saw today in terms of that uh, down 13, not ever, you know. Yeah, that, that's, I mean, if there's a, losing sucks. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I guess if there's a silver lining, that's it. Is They don't quit until the last out in the ninth inning. Man, they we kept playing today. Um, and, and and I, I you know, you can't fault them for that. And I'm, I'm happy they did that. But we also need to do the same thing when we're up three runs. When we're up four runs, we need to play the same way. The, the score should dictate what we do and, and what we're going about it and if there's one thing to learn from that going forward i hope that that's the one thing we learn and we can apply as, as the season goes on coop had a huge day today a career high in rbi for him with seven and kuhio aloy starting to generate a little more i think out of that dh spot for you yeah and kuhio's been good i think he leads, probably leads our team in rbi he does, 28 and, now and he does a good job and he can be a tough out and and that's the cooper that you know that he's capable of maybe not having seven rbis but he's capable of just putting together good at bats like that uh, more often than not and so we had a long talk this morning and last night with mm-hmm. him. And so it's like, Coop, like, you don't have to try to do too much. You just have to be yourself. Like, that's that's good enough, and that's and that's what we need. And, and he did a good job of that today. Um, some of those guys that have played a lot coming back, it's made them feel like they're trying to do too much. They feel like they have to, like, pick up Austin Deming. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't. We just need them to be who they are and be themselves. And, you know, and if you don't do it, then hopefully the next guy does. There's going to be days you're not going to be good. And hopefully the next guy is. I thought a positive today, too, was a nice comeback from Mason Olsen. Good outing yeah. today after last awesome. night. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Really good. And we just, that one, he got away. Made a couple errors, you know, and we, you know, we could have it with zero, but we, we got to get out there with five, not nine. And we got to make one more pitch. And mm-hmm. we just couldn't make another pitch. And, you know, and, but, hey, it happens and it sucks, but hopefully it never happens again. Right back at it, though, on Monday uh, with yep. Utah Tech coming to town. Yeah. Game we got to win. Um, there's not a game that's not important. That was important. And so that's the one we're looking at right now. Coach Pratt, we'll see you next week. Thank yeah, you for your time. Thanks, All right, Greg. that is Trent Pratt. Let's uh, let's do this. We will uh, get through uh, the rest of our box score after this break. We'll come back and wrap things up with some more BYU numbers after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Baylor 18 and BYU 17 as the Cougs uh, lose a seventh consecutive home game. Last thing we'll do is get through the BYU box score. We were starting to do that, but uh, Coach Pratt was up for his postgame interview. Great to hear from Trent. We gave you Luke Anderson going two for five with two runs, an extra base hit, a double. Riker Scow comes in and goes two for four with three runs. Easton Jones two for five with three runs, two RBI, a solo home run for Easton, his ninth of the year. Colin Reuter. Uh, had just one official at bat, went 0 for 1 with a run scored. Parker Goff replaced him in the batting order and behind the plate, and Parker went 2 for 3 with three runs and two RBI and his first home run of the season. So congrats to Parker. Cooper Vest had a big day, 3 for 4, three runs and a career-high seven RBI, his first two triples of the year, and he had two walks as well. Cujillo Aloy producing 2 for 4 with a run and four RBI. He had an extra base hit along with a, 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 ba- a base on balls. Riker Herdsman 0 for 2. Crew McChesney goes 2 for 3, replacing Herdsman as a pinch runner. And then in the field and the batting order, 2 for 3 for Crew with a hit and an RBI. And a triple was uh, that hit for Crew. And for Crew McChesney, that is triple number... Uh, yeah, that's number one on the year. That would be the first triple for Crew. Yeah, just his... Uh, well, it was actually his first hit of the season as well came... In his first at-bat, he ends up going two for three. So first two hits of the year for Crew. And Brock Watkins goes two for six with an RBI. Crew Robinson was one for five with an extra base hit, a double in this game. All right, that will be the wrap-up for BYU. The win goes to R.J. Rue, the loss to Hayden Kuhn, and there was no save in this game. 18-17 to 17 is your final Baylor over BYU. Next broadcast is Monday, BYU and Utah Tech, 6 o'clock. As the Cougars' homestand continues, this was games one, two, and three of the homestand. Game four against Utah Tech, then three against OU, and Utah will close out the homestand a week from Tuesday. So the homestand rolls on with BYU looking to snap a seven-game home losing streak Monday against Utah Tech, six o'clock. So our thanks to the crew back at BYU Radio. We had uh, Terry South as our coordinating producer, uh, Maya Tippetts, and Kaylee Radford in the control studio as well. Engineer Barry Squires, Sean O'Neill, and Clark Jackman in operations. BYU Baseball Communications Director 
Duff Tittle with assistance from Joseph Hubby. And then on the Baylor side, Max Calderon, the Baylor Baseball Communications Director. We thank them for their assistance. We thank Trent Pratt for joining us in pregame and postgame as well. So for all those folks, my name is Greg Rubel saying our final score is Baylor 18 and BYU 17 in a wild one on a sunshiny Saturday at Miller Park. So in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good day and so long from Provo, Utah. You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Live coverage of BYU Baseball is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU Baseball team. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Shane Reese, Vice President Keith Borkey, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director of Corporate Sponsorships Casey Stauffer. BYU Cougars Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.